Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a 2012 Hyundai Elantra um, customer complaint about check engine light. So I just went through our data. As you can see here, our cylinder number three is counting misfire. So we have a cylinder number three misfire code. And that's why I, I think that I should um, make a video on it because I was interested on on our fuel adaptation I'm at idle right now right um, as you can see there I have 12% of um, um, fuel trims right so um, I hook up our connection our scope so I'm thinking maybe this is a, what do you call that it could be a easy um, spark plug because it has a 97,000 kilometers there maybe spark plug or could be injector but I don't hear any abnormal noise in the engine so we'll go to our scope capture and let's see what we have in there okay so right now we're just capturing our data um, as you can see there so we got our channel A the blue one uh, and um, ignition call number three the red one is our um, ignition call for all four we're using a amp clamp in there number uh, on the green one we're uh, going to the injector number three and the yellow one is in the crankshaft so I'm just gonna stop this and then let's see first what we have so i'm just gonna zoom in here let me lower this yellow one the green why i don't have anything there Okay, let me play this again. Just wanna see if we have something in the green. Nothing on the green. That's not good. Okay, so I put the wrong terminal on that green. I want I went to the power feed. So let me just stop this. First is what we notice is we got some high spikes here on our red trace. So we're just gonna go in here and then so our blue trace that's our gonna be our number three ignition coil, um, primary voltage, and the red is our carrying prompt for all four cylinders. So I'm just gonna zoom in more. Uh, we know what's going on because right now we're all just comparing on what's going on first is we see the way you see it this is a classic a shorted ignition coil see that ramp there it goes up and um, it's go it goes up straight and then it went sideways right see that and a number and our blue one that is our um, primary voltage right and as you can see on the other side because that's our number three I'm gonna move our see that how nice and let me zoom in more there on our ramp on our ignition coil um, this is our number three right this is our number one three four so that's our cell number four that is our injector voltage as you can see there there's a hump so we know that our injector opens so I don't think this is an injector problem 
so I'm gonna move it more there's again one three four this is our number two this is our number one and then it's gonna go back to and then one two three so here's a number three so this is an agent um what do you call that um ignition call problem so i just went to our crankshaft because i want to see let's go map channels and then frequency oh you know what let's not do that all right guys so just for the experimentation i remove our number three injector and i put in um, ignition coil number two for a primary voltage so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna compare our primary bolt just okay so we know that our ignition coil is shorted on number three right so now as you can see here our green trace let me zoom in more there see that how nice it goes from 12 volts or whatever is the running voltage pulls to the ground and it fires compared to our green uh, blue trace which is our problem ignition coil oh i go over there where is that guy see that so clearly have a problem with the ignition coil so i'm gonna recommend new ignition coil number three and then we're gonna inspect our spark plug and maybe we can recommend some more and we'll see okay so i remove our spark plug this one is our number three and this is our number two and i think this was um, recently replaced i didn't see any abnormality and this guy they're almost the same except that this one is a little bit wet i guess because of the ignition coil not firing properly so i know it's an overkill uh, overkill we use a scope just to verify that our ignition coil is our problem with the misfire right so i guess they're right what they're saying about if your fuel trims are around 10 percent 10 15 percent is an ignition problem and if it's more than 20 percent it's a fuel problem so i think that's what i'm gonna use now as a rule of thumb so I guess um, I hope you can uh, get something from there too if you're diagnosing a misfire so the fuel trims can help too if you have maybe 10% 15% that could be an ignition call problem and if it's more than that let's say 20% fuel trims plus or negative that's gonna be a fuel problem or fuel fuel delivery issue right so right now I'm just gonna recommend a new ignition coil on this guy number three and then we're gonna recheck our um, capture and see our data if it's still misfiring number three but i'm very confident that it's an ignition call problem hi right, guys so we got an approval for our ignition coil so i'm just gonna remove this connector here Uh, 10 millimeter okay here's a new one just have to install that Okay, so after that, I'm gonna reconnect our scope leads and then let's monitor our signal again. And there should be no misfire right now.
So I'm just gonna play this scope and we're gonna start the car. Okay, so my green is not connected. Okay, so as of right now, as I can see in our engine side, that's not vibrating at all or shaking. So now, let's stop this capture and let's see our waveform. So I'm gonna go back. The same thing, our blue is our um, cylinder number three and green is cylinder number two and our red that's our um, ignition ramp right current ramp oh. so I'm just gonna zoom in one more that's too much okay so first now we can see right now is the blue one as you can see there Earlier, there's no firing at all. We compared to our green one, that, that's why we know that we have a problem number three. Second is our ignition ramp, right? So you can see there that it com compared to the other cylinders, as you can see in there, oops, as you can see in there, um, they're almost the same. Unlike before, that it went straight up and then went to a ramp right so for sure this car is fixed um, I know it's an overkill that <laughs> we are using scope I know it's just a four cylinder we can just swap coils and monitor our um, trouble codes again if it jumped to another cylinder right so because um, I was thinking maybe it's an injector problem so now we know that um, uh, rule of thumb as per the other said that if your fuel trims are 10% 15% there's an ignition problem if it's more than that it's a fuel delivery issue so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can show you how a shorted ignition call looks like so um, so don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time thank you for watching